Oh, funky. Mm. Yeah, baby. Test out audio levels. Right, so in game audio could be a bit quieter, uh, or I could be a bit louder. Let's go with uh, it could be quieter. Oh, 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 yeah, baby. Let's play uh, Trigger Happy Havoc. Let's start with number one, because that's what we've got for today. I know nothing about this. I have only seen the anime. And I don't know, like, what happens. Like, because it was a while ago I watched the anime. Alright, there we go. New game. Language in Japanese. Yeah, baby. Logic difficulty. Yeah, let's play it on medium. I'm gonna sneeze. I can feel it. <laughs> oh, bless me. Oh, God, I bit my tongue as I did that. Oh. So, I know the stream was meant to be live at uh, 22 to Greenwich Mean Time. Um, but I went for a ramen stop um, in town and my bus ended up being like 15 minutes late. Um, so <laughs> I got on the bus, got off the bus and ran home, uh, quickly went to the loo and then loaded up the game for you guys to enjoy. Okay. Kuma, Kuma, yes, daddy. Killing people, no, daddy. Telling lies, no, daddy. Open the school, ha ha ha. Are these the scenes from the anime? Okay. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there's no one in there now. Oh. oh it's, it's a skeleton. <laughs> I'm going to try these new Walker's oven baked cheddar and red pepper fusions um, while it does whatever it's doing. Oh my god! These are amazing! The massive high school towers over all the buildings in this bustling urban estate. It's like the school stands in the center of the entire world. Ha ha ha! Wow! Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable, a government funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. Hundreds of years in tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope. Why is hope in, in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name? There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted out by the school itself. I'm standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with ultimate students. It was me, Billy Jimbo, the best at sucking dick. Makoto? Oh, Naegi Makoto. Makoto. Right. 
As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I don't really have much going for me, but when it comes to grades, special abilities, and personality, I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or a mutant or whatever. Um, a mutant? Uh, okay. Like, if you ask me what my favourite song was or my favourite movie or TV show, that will just be whatever's most popular at the particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't even say I'm an everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's good to introduce myself right off the bat, but you know, uh, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me, I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of anything but the ordinary Pope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But uh, it's no wonder I feel that way. What you have to understand is, let me just tell you about the preparation. Let me just tell you about the preparation. Oh right, I didn't see the eye. I did last night to get ready for today. Come on, keep it coming. Apparently my friend kind of knows them, I guess. I think they'll stick the out. This year's ultimate pop sensation is going to be there. Yeah, the ultimate baseball pro is going to be there too. It's so jealous. It's only for winners. Hope Speak invites those students who are truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. All I saw was talking about ultimate students who are way beyond your average high schooler. For example, one of the incoming students is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. The ultimate baseball star. He was in the anime. Who's a cleanup hitter for the national high school champs? Pro teams have already had their eyes on him. Phew. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. Junko Enoshima? She's been on the cover of Times of Fashion Magazine. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Yes! Yes! My bike boy with the pompadour! Scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, ultimate fanfic creator. <laughs> oh boy! The ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realise how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. See, there are a few students who I couldn't get any info on, no matter how much I look. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then what about the other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be just average students like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's the even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievable average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? They use the word ultimate so goddamn much. I mean, I guess that is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the exception letter and see, to see why they sent uh. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected. We invite you to join us at the Ultimate Lucky Student. I spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. After hearing a guarantee for success later on in life, I just couldn't say no. No, you're the Ultimate Dick Sucker, Makoto. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I couldn't feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, mum murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clenched in my hand. It said I'd be meeting all incoming students in the main hall at 8am. The meeting still isn't for a while, but I should probably head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. 
I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. I took my first step towards the main hall. Mm. Mm. Oh god. These crisps are really fucking good, man. I'm sorry if it sounds gross, but... These are really good chips, man. Crisps. Oh. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says 7.10am. Our meeting doesn't start till 8 o'clock. There's still a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here what day too early. I had plenty of time before the meet. Just standing around waiting wasn't exactly... I should take a look around the school, maybe it'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. So... What the... But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away and then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point I should have realised the reason I was brought here to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had the ultimate good luck. It's so I could experience ultimate despair. Uh, yeah? Slot number four, cause four's my lucky number! Mmm. Right, I'm just going to be a second, I just want to finish these crisps so that I can get it out of the way. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Like I said, I'm just going to finish these crisps and then I'm going to get on because I don't want to keep like having to stop like speaking to eat the crisps or stop eating the crisps to speak because <laughs> I'm a fat fuck. anyone ever gets a chance to try the Walker's oven baked fusions, cheddar and red pepper, fucking do it. Oh my god, they are good. Ugh. Fuck me in the ass with a rake. Ugh. Dot 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 dot. Mm. Well, why? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zoink off in the middle of some... Zoink off? Oh, zonk off. It's still zonk? As a word for falling asleep, zonk? Hmm. 
in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't the classroom I've ever been in before. Glasses, boy. What? Read, Lamau. What the heck is going on? Okay. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy. Firstly, we'll explain the basic controls. You can use left stick to adjust your aim. Aim at an object you can end. Alright, press so you'll investigate the object. Use directional buttons or L and R to adjust your view. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? What the heck? Any normal classroom, that's where the window should be. It looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it, and if I were to knock on it. Yep, definitely metal. Thick too, very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. Why are there metal plates over the windows? Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world where you live in, I guess. They have to keep those weirdos from wandering in. Yeah! Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really almost been an hour since then? Oh, you don't want to leave. There's a note, Mr. Pillow. It's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see the line of drawer. I have to clean that up later. Hey, what's this on the desk? The next semester is about to start. Starting this day, school life will be your entire world. Hey, that new kid. An orientation guide. Some kind of cheap looking pamphlet with something handwritten on it. Yeah, I literally just read that. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Okay, let's see what might have happened is I got myself so wound up I passed out in the main hall and someone carried me here. If that's true, it's just mean. This is a classroom inside Hope Speak. But then if that's true, that raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, there's metal plates covering the windows. It's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past meeting time. There may be other students there now. Whoa. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. It's getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. So the main hall. Use the left stick to move through the hallway. Circle button while moving to a run. Okay. That doesn't help me with... Where the main hall is. Is it here? I wonder where this red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick just standing here. Is the main hall like the basketball hall? It's like the biggest hall here that I can see. The gym, the handle didn't move at all. Where the fuck's the main hall? I don't know how fucking Japanese schools work. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else is already there. Yeah, Pompadour boy. Whoa, hey, another new kid. Then you guys are all, yeah, we're all here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. Check out him, that makes 15. He's like a good cut-off point. everyone. Standing here before me were the ultimate students that have been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone in the garden here, taking their faces in one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Okay. Um, how's this going? My name is Makoto Negi. I'm sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Whoa, you two? <laughs> Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> So strange, I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Uh, um, what are you talking about? I have honestly no idea what's going on right now. Just a moment. There's... He looks like, um... I forgot her name. The chick that dresses in the white military uniform from, is it Kill the Kill? Uh, the one with the massive eyebrows. Uh, there's something else we must address. Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you are aware the meeting was at 8am sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you. Satsuki, that's it. He looks like Satsuki. And you must accept your due punishment. Huh? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. <laughs> Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we go around and introduce ourselves? <laughs> yes, best boy. Best boy in the game. I love him so much. 
the hell? Now I'm not no time for friggin' instructions, introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but it'd be good to at least find out where we all are before digging into deeper problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? That's a good point. Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way then. We can move on to whatever else. Feel, sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it is best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is a good chance that I'm going to get. I already looked everyone up with some Hope Speak Academy online thread, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Okay. Let's start with you. Yamada Hifumi. Hifumi Yamada. Uh, if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega, I don't mind. Ultimate fanfic creator, right? Of course he is. That's Jim. <laughs> oh, that world I've known is screwed. The ultimate fanfic creator. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event was passed into legend. Some of them did get, of course. I mean, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? Too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. In the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I'm like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I'm a soldier serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you two have observed my work in some way, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with the deepest meaning. What, what kind of meaning? It's about embracing our basis urges. Oh god. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Leon is the basket builder, right? Yeah. You have a cool beard, Leon. I appreciate that. I recognise that name. You play for the National High School Champs, the clean up hit of the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is... You, seriously? No, what's wrong? Nothing, I'm just surprised. I think you'd be in the ultimate yeah. baseball star. What, you're expecting some kind of shaved head? Shaved head? Wow, it's just a bit more, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. Yeah! Oh man, no, you found a picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. That's so not, that's not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. Didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head is like part of the national championship regulations. Hi. But now I refuse to cut my hair and I'm not going to dye it back to normal either. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? I don't like baseball, like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. As soon as I got set there, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course it is. My only path in life is getting into music. I feel that star quality aura I have, right? I think there'll be a singer. All I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar and a set. The new version of me that's chasing after the dream is like super cool to the max. Never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. Sayaka... Maizuma? Maizuma Sayaka. Maizuma Sayaka. I look forward to getting to know you. The ultimate pop sensation. Oh, that's her. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing and that pleasant scent I can't quite play. Sorry, I'm a fat piece of shit so I'm just going to keep eating. Sayaka Maizuma. When I saw her name in the thread online, frankly, I was quite surprised. She's a pop group famous across all the country, in fact, she's their lead singer. She has the ultimate pop sensation. She is in high demand to appear on TV and magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was surprised she'd be going to school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. I'm not a doll. You know, I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I'm psychic, huh? Kidding, I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, by any chance now what? Yeah, it must be, I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, dude. Jeez. <coughs> you guys, how long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Sorry, I just got carried away, I guess. 
Self introductions are for introducing yourself, not a bunch of bumbling through a bunch of idle chit chat. No. You're right, sorry Makoto, we can talk about this later. Sound like Say Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. It's not like we'll never see each other again, like I said, we can talk later. Toko Fukuma? No, not that you'll remember my name anyway, but. Toko Fukuma. The ultimate writing prodigy. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then two years ago she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. Buck was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pole. <laughs> Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes and all of her books are instant bestsellers, which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? I figured she'd be all the lovey-dovey type of her masterpiece being romance and all, but... Money. What? It's not polite to stare, you know? <laughs> Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. I thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. It was just too funny. That's not what I was thinking at all. <laughs> Jesus. I know you can't stand looking at me, whatever, I don't really care, I'm used to it. Well, talk about an inferiority complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. And then we have Kiyotaka Ishimaru. Bold simplicity, let's work together on our educational crusade. The ultimate moral compass. <laughs> He went from a famous private school and won top honours every year. He's basically a flawless honour student. He's also known the work he's done with his community's public morales committee. You like Makoto, do you? They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral, ultimate moral compass. Oh my god, Rob. Anyway, you can call me with the wicked eyebrows, yeah. You can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto, right? That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. And keep that name from losing its value. You must devote yourself every single day. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort in, right? Right. This guy's kind of annoying. Mmm. 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 Oh, let's talk. I want to talk to my boy, Mondo. Nice to fucking meet ya. Oh, not biker gang leader. Which means he's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He earns respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate bike uh, gang leader. Um, nice to meet you too. Oh. Hell, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. You better be careful around in one wrong word and I can wake up at the bottom of the sea. My boy. Hi, I'm Junko. Oh my god. Ultimate fashionista, Junko Enoshima. Anybody would recognize this one. <coughs> She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've even I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Huh? Oh, you're talking about my cover photos and junk? Well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back like with computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. Come on, don't act surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. It's totally normal these days to photoshop crap out of cover photos. 
if you're surprised by that, you're totally blown away by certain dangerous divas in the heart. Uh, they'll make the eyes and junk super big, tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh, so many dreams are getting crushed today. <laughs> Jim, what do you think of my boy Mondo? My name Kirigiri. is Kyoko Kirigiri. Ultimate. Uh, pretty tight lip, huh? Oh, but you know, my name didn't show up anywhere in Hope's Academy thread. I did see those students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or present. Fuck who, the biker dude? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, the biker dude! Did this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing None. at the school? What's that supposed to mean? No, I mean, getting invited to meet you're some kind of ultimate something. What ultimate something are you? Why should I tell you, huh? No, I guess you don't have to tell me. No, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about a turn up online. So I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. She doesn't want to tell me anything. No point in asking. Chihiro Fujisaki? <laughs> Ultimate programmer. Ah! Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. Anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here, nice to meet you, huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Oh yeah, good point, sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Oh, yeah. She's known for the cutting edge program she's created, she's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going. It has endeared her a legion of fans. Hey, so listen, I'm really sorry. What are you apologising for? Well, just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why fans are so into her. <laughs> you are the sports chick? Asina Oi? Uh, but my friend just called me Hina. Sup? Ultimate swimming pro. She's been breaking records in every competition since elementary school. She's even been uh, chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. Uh, the, <laughs> the combination of her ap uh, ability, appearance, and um, proportions has been widely discussed no. online. So what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto and Nate. Um, oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. It's not something like that, it is that. Sure, sure. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? You don't know, if I want to remember someone's name, you got to write it on your hand three times. Never heard that before in my life. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? Spell it exactly how it sounds. Um, well, I have no idea. I'll just figure that out later and write it down. Anyway, glad. Nice to meet you. Sure, same here. It's totally easy going and bursting with energy. These four over here are the only ones left. Sakura Ogami, the ultimate martial artist. Oh jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. <laughs> the day I said something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball, but now I remember that she's completed a martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist, she's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. Thread also said a little more about her. Some call her Ogre, some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates, the frameless and link. Any incoming uh, here, let me warn you right now, if you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Sending in front of her now, I don't think they're exaggerating Oi. about that. Yes, I snapped into attention without even realising it, then she started to poke a prod at my body. Um, my you, muscular quality and quantity is right around that. An extremely ordinary high school student. Mm, what a shame. 
you'll not fit into my act as a training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Who are you? Byakuya Tagami. The ultimate affluent prodigy. Uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. There really isn't anything I can do about it, even among the ultimate students, this one is special. He's the heir apparent to his family's massive financial conglomerate. Hmm. He's already started managing business operations, and his own pers personal assets are well vast. His title of Ultimate Affluent Prodigy is completely accurate, he's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope Speak Academy thread online. Oh, We're done with the introductions, right? How long are you going to stay there? Go away, I'm sick of looking at you. Okay. Well, fuck you too. Mm. 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 Hero, take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Ultimate Clairvoyant, right! Hmm. What the fuck? Daddy? Well, I'm actually 21. I could come back a few times and see. Oh, uh, it's a long story. That is a long story. Yeah, what's her name? Celeste? I do not think we have been introduced. I'm Celestia Lindenberg. Oh my god, what a fucking name. I already hate her. The ultimate gambler. Celestia London, huh? Lindenberg, it's my name, but if you don't mind, I prefer if you call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Of course, why do you ask? If you don't mind, can you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Lemonberg is my real name. I already love her. <laughs> I mean, as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful about it. At the same time, I don't think she wants to say any more about it. Guess the rumours in Australia write about her. A self-styled Celestia Lindbergh. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita plays, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she out with the one underground tournament and has been earning the title Queen of Liars. Totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. Uh, smile is beyond deceptive, but I'd better watch myself around here. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm, even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of, um, something. <laughs> time to get down to business. Uh, this is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed buffoons. Baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about the bigger problem or something. <laughs> what was that about? Well, you see, in Proto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? Just after each of us got in the main hall, we lost consciousness. When we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That happened to you too, right? This is just weird. Every one of us got knocked out like that. Yes. Exactly, that's why we're all freaking out. And that's not the only thing. You saw all the windows in the classways and the hallways, right? Yes. Instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Plus all my stuff's missing, even my cell phone. Yeah, you're right, I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. And, and there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal cap. But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck is it doing here? 
Maybe we just got caught up in like, you know, some kind of crime or something. What? Well, like a kidnapping. You think maybe someone grabs us and holds us off and we're not actually at school? Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all part of the school's orientation procedure. That's a pretty fucking long-winded orientation procedure, I have to tell you. Like, that's a very long-winded orientation procedure. Don't forget, guys. I have to whisper very loudly because... Like, the music is still very loud even though I've turned it down significantly. But don't forget to share this with all of your friends. Um, and they'll get the biggest bonus that they've ever had in their entire life. It's a true story based on real events. Daddy? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just going to take it easy for a little bit. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? Huh? Well, if that's it, it's nap time for us. I was up way too long. Late last night, so I could use some shot. Eye. Everyone's tensions evaporating, but then it began. Ding dong, bing bong. Oh my god, that's like the best way to describe that. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Well, totally out of place, it's playful. So completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. What the hell is that just now? Well then, if you'll excuse me. What, you just get taken off like that? Oh yeah, now I get this whole thing is just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. Man, thank god it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked out if this was real. Alright, I guess I'll head out too. I wonder what they got planned for us next. Oh, I was totally looking forward to a nap too. Why they'd have to go and kill the moon. I wanna go with you. I'll see you all there. Not that anyone cares what I'm gonna go to. Everyone took off the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. The, that uneasy feeling I got before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like it, I wasn't the only one. This doesn't seem right. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. Maybe, uh, but just staying up doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? Bum, bum, bum. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I, I guess she's right. I'm still kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Do you want to say it? yes? To the gym it is. Uh, no, this way. The gym and it's unlocked now. Curious and curious. God, I had no idea there's such, such a pain in my balls. What? A pain in your balls, Mondo? Don't you mean a pain in the ass? It really ain't that much different from the time I spent with Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the hall and I didn't see a single person. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? I just try and spook her, so I'll take all those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared of nothing. Let's get this over here. Hey, whoever called us here. Mondo, stop, no running. I too shall go. Wait, ugh. 
Okay, time for some more tutorial action. You can press the triangle button to observe the room you're in. Display what people and objects in you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Display case, there are all kinds of treasures. In fact, inside of course, all students will go here all on that right. Probably a tiny fraction of their awards. There's also this monitor. School has a lot of TVs, they couldn't just be here at that weird school broadcast, could they? Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said to and went to the gym, and what I saw was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. So he told you it's a totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right, but in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Okay. Huh? A teddy bear? What is this music? I really like it. I'm not a teddy bear. Right before my eyes, it was what I was seeing was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. All that anxiety we carried with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. <laughs> well, the teddy bear can talk. Calm down, I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. I told you, I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma. I am your headmaster. It moves. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep. Deeper than the marina tread. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't, NASA can't recreate or comprehend it. There we go. <laughs> ah, but don't let me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I couldn't bear that. Oh no. That's a really bad pun. Fair that really? You are unfortunate. Hey, no. Now we're moving on, we must really hurry and get started. Oh, Giving up already, no other stupid bear pun. Quiet down now, quiet down. Ah, okay, so. <laughs> he has abandoned the gag. Oh, hi, oh, Everyone, stand at attention and bow, and good morning. <laughs> yeah. There we go, there's Jim's favourite kicking in. Hey, you don't have to say it back. Hey, now then, let's commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Ah, make no mistake, if these students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. Protect such splendid hope. We will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of the school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Ah, now then, regarding the end date for this communal life. There isn't one. In other words, you'll be here until the day you die, such as the small life you've been assigned. Until the day we die? No. Oh, but fear not, we have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack all the common conveniences. That's the least of all worries right now. Yeah, what the hell are you saying? I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? I'm not screwing with you, I'm no liar. That, of that you can be 100% sure. I'm sure your information is completely cut off for the outside world, so you don't have to worry about that dirty dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off. So all those metal plates all over the school. They have to keep us trapped in here. That's exactly what they're here for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, none will come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life with reckless abandon. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind this. It's just a really bad joke. Yeah, cut this shit out. It isn't funny anymore. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. I guess you can't help it. Oh, you all grew up in an age where you thought that your neighbour. 
Um, well, you'll attempt your time to find out whether or not I, what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. <laughs> Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. <laughs> Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided on your own free will to attend Hope Speak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've decided you want to leave. Oh, but you know, I guess I did forget to mention that is one way for you to leave the school. <laughs> really? My <laughs> headmaster has crafted, crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. <laughs> Now let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone would disrupt the harmony, they would, uh, bleh, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. Mm -hmm. That, my students, is the graduation no. clause. What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? Well, you know, if one person were to murder another, murder? Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. The rest is up to you. Give it your all, achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of your human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darker shadow of despair. And I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other, it's, it's to kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary around here if you need it. You know what it means, that's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Yeah, stop blabbering with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering? Blabbering, blabbering, what do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on and blab about blabbering on. You guys don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go, you keep saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world, got it? You can kill as much as you want to kill, so go ahead, go on a kill, kill, killing spree. Alright, come on, how long are you going to keep this up? Eh? You got us, okay? You skip. I have a phone call, one moment. I'm really sorry about that guys, I got a phone call from my boyfriend. You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us, so you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Yo, Lucans, welcome! 
reveal the trick? Yeah, because, I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, like, uh, dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Mondo! Shopping here aside, Mondo plays himself in front of the mono thing. His voice rumbling like thunder. This shit's gone on way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? So, what, you mean like that? You leave Mono's pom uh, Mondo's pompadour alone, you prick. Mondo is a precious boy, and I love him. <laughs> Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. The sound of the floorboards as he kicked and launched himself into the air. He flew up Monokuma as fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Get to you little piece of shit. I don't know if you're toys, stuff, or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm going to rip you to fucking shreds. Ah, uh, violence against the headmaster is a violation of school regulations. Shut the fuck up, man. Uh, shut the fuck up, let me out of here, I swear to Christ. What, no smartest comeback this time? Stop that goddamn beeping and say something. Get rid of it. Huh? Hurry up and throw it. I don't know if that ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word he did as he was told. He threw Mono Kuma. And as soon as he did... <laughs> the hell? <laughs> that sure as shit wasn't a joke, it blew the hell up. There's a painful ringing in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, I've never seen anything <laughs> like it. But you know, this means the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? I told you I'm not a teddy bear, I'm monokuma. Oh, there's another one? You son of a bitch, you seriously tried to kill me just now. Well, yes, I was serious about killing you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time. You better be careful on from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swap on the back. Hey, so does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Monokumas have been placed throughout all the school, yes. Plus, don't forget, surveillance cameras are installed everywhere. If you stop breaking the rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? And I won't be so forgiven with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. That's not even punishment, that's just wrong. Yeah. Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is your official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the e-handbook. Yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it'll display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this isn't your everyday notebook. It has many more uses than that. It's also completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep on ticking. All thanks to Space Age's design, it can provide an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulation will not be tolerated. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial to have strict punishment in place for violators. Okay, well that brings our ancient ceremony to a close. Please enjoy our, your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya! And with that he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. You guys, how would you define what we just experienced? How? What? I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever or kill? What was that that just happened? Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's take time a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monica has said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we stay here living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is, if you want to get out of here alive, you have to kill someone, right? But killing someone, that's... We're about, we were abducted out of nowhere, stuffed into this place meant to look like school, now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... this is just... what is this? A lie, this is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard, this all has to be fake. <laughs> Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is that, that is anyone here seriously considering this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge out each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. Oh, it tastes like mm, salt. Mm. Mm. Not 
that's when it hit me. I realised the true terror hidden in the walls my Akuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words were quite vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everybody else when we were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? And that is how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes of heart, is not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Surviving students, 15. End of chapter, well, end of the prologue. To be continued. Well, while the opening's going on, I'm going to say that I'm going to end the stream here. I'm going to do each stream as, like, a chapter. So that when it's on YouTube and stuff, it's all nicely laid out in each chapter. And I'll probably do the same with the second game, if it's the same. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching Danganronpa. I know it's, like, really fucking slow to begin with. But it starts getting, like, really detective-y and you have to think about everything. And I'm hyped to see more of it. Um, Jim apparently likes it a lot. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll upload this to YouTube, so, like, you know, I'll put it in a playlist. And, uh, yeah, we will come back and do chapter one, either today or tomorrow. Like, I'm kind of tempted once my boyfriend is back, just setting up the fucking PS4 in the bedroom and streaming the next chapter of this. Vampiris, sweet. Welcome, I don't think I've seen you before, Vampiris. If you, um... Uh, if you want to watch this, previously Vampiric... Ah, that makes more sense! You got a school crust. You received a school pre crest present. There we go. Yes, we want to save. From zero to hero, the trophy I just got is... <laughs> zero to hero! Just like that. Right. We don't want to show anymore. So, thank you guys for joining. Um, I will be streaming some more of this either today or um, tomorrow. Um, uh, but if you end up missing it, don't worry, it will be 100% on my YouTube. So, I'll also post it on my Twitter. Um, I will post a link to my Twitter for anyone that doesn't have it. I will post maybe an hour or so before I go live on my Twitter. Um, especially if I do it today. Because I usually post like a day in advance or like in the very beginning of the morning for me in the UK. And I'll say like, oh yeah, we're going live at like 7.30pm uh, Greenwich Mean Time. So if you want to watch the next chapter live, you guys are more than welcome to come tune in. You can check out when I'm going to do it there. Or if you just want to watch it like, or if you miss it, it will be available on my um, YouTube as well. So I shall see you guys later and thank you for joining.